Alright, uh, this is one of the covers videos. I show five covers to comics that I have decided are good. And you say they are or they aren't in the comments. I have got another five for you today. And it all begins with a Todd McFarland Hulk cover. This is issue 344. And if it should tell you anything, it is that Todd McFarland has never been afraid of recycling. What we have here is the same basic cover that will be reworked as Amazing Spider-Man issue 300 about a year later. Really, it's pretty much the same cover. What maybe doesn't spell that out for you is that Hulk is much bigger than Spider-Man. And this time, it's not just Hulk. He has got his love interest holding on to him. But honestly, boil it down. It's the same as Amazing Spider-Man 300. I like it though. Here is a cover to Avengers The Initiation. This is issue 26, which is not the issue where Equinox appears. I wondered if I had that one, and then I saw this cover and thought that is quite good. I'll put that aside for the next covers video. And so here we are. This has a trio of villains now in charge of things. Taskman, Norman Osborn, and Red Hood. They have taken over the training grounds, and it is like a propaganda poster. This artist did a lot of covers like that. I like this, and most of them. There's a Blackstar one that I quite like. I'll have to see if I've got that one. Every now and then, I work in a cover that has been sitting waiting for its opportunity to get into one of these. And today, it is Hercules Man, issue 4, with him battling Galactus Man. Hate the issue, love the cover. This is Bob Lehman, and this has had a good year or two of sitting on the bench, waiting for its chance to be in one of these videos. It would always get pushed back or replaced with somewhere else, or there would be another cover that I felt was too similar to it. Well now, it has finally made it, and it should be proud of itself. Many excellent men covers. I like to imagine a better story to go with them. And this is a good example. Wolfman versus Gumbo. That should be great. Who doesn't want to read that? Of course, inside it turns out not to happen. And that it is a fight with a scroll disguised as Wolfman. And that is much more boring and unexciting. People wanted to see Wolfman fight the new character. And on the cover at least, that is what it allows us to imagine happens. And on the cover at least, that is what it allows us to imagine happens. For someone who cannot stand the excellent men and their fan base, there sure are some excellent men covers on this covers video. This is Adventurings of the Excellent Men, number 4 from 1996. I likely felt that Wolfman looked too cool on the other cover, so now I'm trying to compensate with a cover where Cyclist looks even cooler. This is the Lovecraft issue. This is a Lovecraft adaptation. The music one. Of course there wasn't any excellent men in the original story. But there will have been racism. And the excellent men are nothing but allegories for that now. This was inside of it. Sure to be toxic by this point. I'm not going to try it. I've already spent six years trying to live down the Ashens comparisons. Because we both use a couch. The end of the video is upon us. 
Someone should write an HP Lovecraft style story about this. Which covers made you randy, baby? Which covers were you into? Which ones were your jam? Which ones were your toast? I give them all seven thumbs up, baby.